Right everyone, welcome back, hope we're having a great day and we're all doing well. So it's not new information that the maps in Rainbow Six Siege have story and lore behind them. I'm doing a little series right now where I'm taking a look at the lore of a bunch of the maps. We've already taken a look at Villa and Fortress. Highly recommend checking those videos out if you haven't already. And at the current point of upload, our most recent brand new map in Rainbow Six Siege is Nighthaven Labs. Now, not only in my opinion is Nighthaven Labs an incredible map to play on, I think it just is a really good map, I think it's one of the best in the pool. It is also one of our most lore heavy maps in the game. Of course course it is the laboratories of the private military organization Nighthaven, whose base you can actually see in the distance when you're standing on Nighthaven Labs. And the map itself is full of lore, one of the major things to be found on this map is in the meeting room, where you can find audio recordings of Kali talking about all of the Nighthaven operators, and it gave us a really good insight into the reason why the Rainbow operatives who left Team Rainbow to join Nighthaven done what they did. And so there's some other interesting lore stuff you can find on this map as well, and one we're going to be focusing on in this video is in the exosuit room. You guys may know this, but in this room you can see Kali's elite skin which is her master frame prototype is one of the suits that she wore during the SI cinematics it's her elite skin and it's just meant to be an improvement exo suit for Kali to wear however the other suit which is in this room is Legion's elite skin which when this map came out I was extremely confused about and I made a video about this and the reason why I was so confused is because one Legion got his elite skin before Nighthaven were even introduced to the game and two Legion didn't leave Team Rainbow to join Nighthaven he's part of the Ghost Eye squad but thanks to DFTGJY on Twitter, they pointed something out to me on Twitter which helps explain as to why Legion's Elite suit is in Nighthaven's lab. And to find out why, we have to take a look at the concept art for Legion's Elite suit. And this can be found on the R Station page for Stefan Turgeon, I apologize if I pronounced that wrong, and he is a illustrator for Ubisoft in Montreal. And with this concept art, as you can see, it came with a little description saying that this illustration was meant to showcase Legion's Elite skin, however this was meant to be our first ever hint at Nighthaven in Rainbow Six. Siege. And like I said, we got this a decent amount of months before Nighthaven were ever even introduced into the story and into the game. So of course, none of this really made any sense to us. We didn't know this was a separate company. We probably just assumed that this was Team Rainbow. But now all these years later, bringing everything together with Nighthaven Labs, we can see his suit in the exosuit room and then taking a look at this concept art. We can now see what they were trying to hint with us. And if I'm not wrong, the woman standing in the background behind the glass, I believe is actually Callie. So it is very interesting that this was seemingly our first look at Nighthaven in Rainbow Six Siege and we didn't even know it. And so with this concept art and everything which we have seen now, it makes so much sense as to why Legion's Elite Suit is in the exosuit room of Nighthaven Labs. And that is because it was developed by Nighthaven. This was one of Nighthaven's first sort of crossovers with Team Rainbow. And of course then this would go on to set up what would be the future relation between the two sides and then the fallout and then the sort of rocky relationship we have at the current point in the lore. So at this current point in time then, it seems like there have been three Elite skins which have been developed by Nighthaven. That is Kali's elite skin, Legion's elite skin, and Finka's elite skin. And I think whilst we're at it, a really cool addition to the exosuit room could be if they add Finka's elite skin in one of the exosuit pods because there's four pods, but there's only two suits, two of them are repeated. So you could replace one of the repeated ones by putting Finka's latest elite skin in it. And then later on in the future, when we get another elite skin, which is made by Nighthaven for a Nighthaven operator, you could put that in the fourth spot. Doesn't really change anything about the game or change anything about the map, but it would just be a cool little fun little lore update. And I'm sure a lot of you guys like myself would find that really nice. And hey, I wonder if Nighthaven and Team Rainbow start working again in the future. I mean, they probably are. They are going to have to take down Deimos and it's probably in both of their interests to work together if any more operators are going to get these really cool exosuit skins. So there you go. With that nice little bit of information, they've kind of added more depth to what Legion's Elite skin is meant to be. I honestly think it's way cooler now that I've learned this than I originally got it. Because I'll be honest, when it first released, I just assumed that they were going for like a sort of Iron Man look for Legion and there wasn't really that much story behind it. But clearly, I was wrong about that and the story behind it was the beginning of the relationship between Team Rainbow and Nighthaven. I also highly recommend checking out the video I made about Finka's Elite skin because clearly being developed by the same people, when I take a look into the skin itself we can see that that suit may have saved Finka's life. But it is really nice to learn this about Legion, he's probably one of my favourite operators in the game, he was my first in the game, I got the game back in Blood Orchid which is the season Legion joined, the version of the game came with the current operators at that time and he was the one I picked up, the T5 SMG to this day is still an incredible SMG, one of my favourite guns in the game. This gadget is extremely useful. It has been nerfed since it came out, but it is still incredibly good. So hopefully we do see more Legion in the lore. The last time we saw about them is in the last battle pass for Operation Solar Raid. He was talking about how he's learning to be more stealthy like the other people on Ghost Eyes, and he's taking hints from like Sam Fisher, Kavera, Nook. So yeah, really cool, and hopefully we get to see a more stealthy version of Legion in the lore quite soon. And one thing I find quite interesting when thinking and looking about this whole thing is that out of the three CBRN operations, 
operators, which were part of Rainbow. Of course, Finca has left now, but in Team Rainbow, you did have the CBR and Threat unit, which was made up of Lion, Finca, and Legion. At this current point in time, Lion is the only one who doesn't have an exosuit from Nighthaven, so it could be quite cool if Nighthaven and Rainbow do work together again, because then our three main CBR and Threat unit operators will have an exosuit, and of course, that will help them in the field because they are the ones who deal with chemicals. And on top of that, Lion's Elite skin is a crossover one. It could be quite cool to get a normal lore based elite skin for him as well. So the next time you're playing Nighthaven Labs and you're in the exosuit room, stop and take a minute to look at Legion's Elite skin and just think about how that was one of the first traces of Nighthaven in Rainbow Six lore. Hopefully we get more stuff in this game which is so minuscule but has so much backstory and to me I just love delving into it. And when looking at the process of this concept art by the illustrator themselves, they did have like little descriptions at the bottom and it seems like this wasn't the original idea for Nighthaven to be teased. They did claim that that was more of an end of project thing so originally it does seem like this suit was going to be developed by, I don't know, Rainbow or someone else. Considering the ethnicity of it seems to be all the scientists in the room and it seemed like there was like a commander in the background, this could have actually been developed by Legion CTU back in Hong Kong or the Hong Kong government, but in the end it was changed to be Nighthaven developing it to tease the story we were going to be getting a few seasons after the release of the Elite skin. And hey, if we're going to theorize about what a fourth exosuit they could put in this room could be, if I say that we put one of them as Finca, we'd have one left over, I think we should get an Elite skin for Aruni and it should be another exosuit upgrade for her as well because she is missing two limbs and of course the prosthetics which she has now are provided by Nighthaven and they are top of the range but I just think it'd be really cool if Aruni got another upgrade from Nighthaven with a new exosuit but then again that may also just be me being biased because just like Legion, Aruni is one of my most favourite defenders and I would love to just see her get an Elite skin. And hey, this room is quite barren, so maybe in the future when we have countless more exosuits which are made by Nighthaven, they can maybe start filling this room up a little bit and add stuff to the corners. I love this map, but I don't think it would hurt to just put a little more stuff in this room, and as a lore guy myself, you know I'd absolutely love it to see some more of the suits in this room showcased proudly in Nighthaven's lab. So guys, be sure to your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you originally think this elite skin meant in Rainbow Six Siege? Did you know that this was our first hint at Nighthaven before they were even introduced? And has this video helped you understand? why this suit is now in Nighthaven Labs. Be sure to subscribe for more Rainbow Six Siege lore content because we are going to be getting the full reveal of Operation Dread Factor very soon and I am so excited. This is definitely going to have so much lore content in this season and I just cannot wait to make videos about it, learn about it myself and just enjoy this season. So everyone, have a lovely rest of your day. I shall catch you all in the next video. Peace.